Good morning, chaps. Oh, I look a little bit uh, blurry eyed, but trust me, I'm not. I'm a wide awake. I'm a wide awake. A uh, couple of jobs I've got to do today, which we've just noticed. Friggin' fence has blown down, hasn't it? Yes, so uh, the next door neighbours have been a bit poorly, and uh, their side of the fence has obviously deteriorated uh, over the past year, so it's led to it rotting away. I suppose it's quite an old fence as well. So as you can see, well you can't really with this uh, light, can you? But yeah, that one's gone. That one's gone. I'd say that one's gone. And maybe the one next to it. So it's probably a case of one, two, at least three panels today to be changed. Oh god, the garden is in a sorry state. And it's a little bit breezy, it's not too bad, but it's a little bit breezy. But it's warm, it's 12 degrees out already. So uh, it feels really nice. That breeze isn't uh, harsh at all. Are you coming in, boy? So uh, just wait for Jem to get sorted. And then we're gonna go off to the, uh, to the brewery. We've gotta see a man about the floor, because we've got an issue with the floor in the bar which could be catastrophic at some point. So we'll talk to him about that, and then once he's been, hey up, don't come in don't here. Don't come in here. You can't whisper that to a sensitive microphone no, like this. Just get out. Nobody would have seen anything, love. Now you've actually made an issue of it. No, because you walked like you turned it, stop. Yeah, but I'm not gonna film in here. Get out I was then. filming me. Oh God. Now I'm turned around, you can see in there. Oh it's because God. she's got McDonald's wrappers on the side and stuff like that. She doesn't like it. So, um, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. We've got to go and see the man about the floor. And once we've got the floor sorted out or looked at, then we're going to look at some fence panels, ordering some bricks, ordering some steel, really get the ball rolling on all of these, uh, all of these jobs that need to be done and get out the grain for brew day on Monday and onwards. So we're in the pub. Uh, I thought I'd just show you the, uh, the floor, what's worrying me. So this is the front of the bar area when the camera finally catches up with us. And uh, we fit about 20 people here on a busy day. A lot of people stand here um, to get served because this is obviously where all the hand pull is. And uh, we've got some tables in front of the windows. So if I pull the chairs out of the way. Oh, they're good and heavy. So down here, you can see the problem. Let's uh, just rotate the camera a little bit. There we go. So you can see where it was corked up and you can now see where it's opened. That's right, underneath the floor has pulled away from the skirting in this section just here, which I think is smack bang above the cooler. If you listen carefully, you can hear it. And then on this side as well, in conjunction, it's just a little bit, but when I put this flooring in, uh, this bar in, the bar was touching the deck. And you can see just here, look, we've got a little gap open up. So that tells me that, uh, that tells me that obviously with the amount of people that we have in the pub, uh, it's caused that floor to either settle or sink. So whether that is a good thing, well, it's definitely not a good thing, but whether that is a serious thing, is what I'm trying to say, or not, remains to be seen. So we'll go into the cellar and we'll have a look at it from that point of view. So here we are in the cellar. And of course, I'll just turn that off for a moment. I might be able to talk to you in here. So, directly beneath where I think the issue is, which is there, we have obviously the cellar cooling unit, we have the post mix unit, 
we have the gas of which the pipe runs directly across the top of here and all the way across into the kitchen and then up here we pulled this down and you can see these are the offending timbers so I don't know how they've affixed these timbers to to the wall but in my opinion they should be sat on the wall not fixed to it and then they've come in with these joist hangers you can see there look where the floor steps up that's sat on actually sat on the uh, on the wall there and then it runs across and it's obviously being supported uh, one end and then possibly yeah supported well no there's not even a a beam there look they haven't put the beam there because obviously it has to run past this concrete so they've had to stop and terminate the timbers in mid-air and looking at the angle of that timber to me looks like it's leaning forwards so I think that this section here it needs some type some type of support I think maybe a, a prop running down we can move this if we have to that's not a problem, we can put that the other side. But I think we need a prop coming down here to transfer the load directly to the floor, that's what I'd do. But I think he's on about coming in and pulling this back of course, which is going to be hard because we've got we've got pipe work in here, you know. But he's on about coming in and, and drilling, drilling these timbers to that wall. I don't think that's a very wise decision personally, but we'll see what the solution is so because it's kind of structural and uh, it's not my building I lease it I don't really want to get involved in doing anything like that because it could null and void um, the landlord's building insurance uh, so we'll call him in to do that I don't mind doing some fencing or some patio work you know or putting pictures and whatnot on the walls but anything to do with the actual structure of the building is not my responsibility but we'll follow it closely because I'm worried that obviously if that floor gives way it's going to take that gas pipe out it's going to take my cellar cooler out and uh, gas and electrics being smashed down probably cause some type of ca catastrophic explosion you know and it's probably going to happen when we're busiest on a Saturday evening or something not a good mix so yeah not too worried about it at the moment, he's coming to have a look at it, but definitely something we need to keep an eye on. So the man's just been a uh, temporary fix for the weekend because obviously busiest time of the week for us, Friday, Saturday. So he's coming back with some acros and some scaffold boards and uh, we're going to prop the whole thing up for the weekend so it's structurally sound and then they're going to come back in and they're going to drill some really long holes into the uh, into the bridge foundations put some threaded bar in there and some resin and anchor that timber to the wall which i think sounds like a good uh good fix to the problem so whew, that's a load off my mind so the next job is we have to go and measure up for the brickwork and order some bricks and steel may as well just order the bricks first I've got plenty of time to order the steel haven't I and then we can uh, get some fence panels that's what we need to do today as well let's get on with it Gem's doing wages so she's in the office she's in the orifice doing the wages oh isn't it lovely in here it's warm in here Radiator's not on, is it? No, I just mean warm in general in the building. It's yeah. not cold. Oh, look, you're paying everybody. Don't. For frick's sake, it's more expense. No. So, we've got a nine inch wall to put from there to maybe here for a pillar on the other side of this tree to that wall for another pillar so let's have a look what we've got exactly so that's uh, oh, it's a bit breezy 
things in it. So we've got one side 3.4 and then we've got 3 and then the other side, we'll measure that. a good number 3.4 smack bang in the middle this bad boy and then height that's a funny one I suppose I'm gonna have to kind of excavate the soil out before we find out what height the wall's gonna be so that's a job for a lackey Better get somebody on the job then. We've been slave labour in Gemma then. We ain't grain out, fill it mashed ton up. Don't spill any chicken. I'm not spilling it, it's just a bit dusty. Isn't it? Right, uh, the man has been, Nick's been, he sorted us out with a few props. So let's go and have a look at the handiwork that's going to keep everyone safe this weekend. And just like that, we have spreader beams, props, and a big spreader up at the top as well to take the weight. And it has pushed it up, and that gap under the skirting board is almost, well, it's gone. So they're coming back next week, and up here, they're going to get prepped some, uh, some rods, send it through that timber with spreader plates on the back, and into the foundations of the bridge, which is directly behind that wall that's why it's damp it's just earth earth behind that and tons of it oh buddy oh buddy we're taking chance you come in hey no not in there mate getting in a new we're going in the in the van new vehicle come on then bud Let's just make sure that, uh... oh hello, wrong button, yeah there's nothing in the back, apart from your new washing basket, didn't even know I bought you it did you? It's this laundry basket for bathroom, you know because that other one's falling to pieces, uh, just on bargains, I got Abby a unicorn cake, uh, mold as well ah, like those. to make some little unicorns that can come out where's that for that's for the brewery forgot about that oh, but just leave it here for now go on chance good boy is the back done you have to lean on the back yeah you've got to push that in is that that feels is that not in enough Ah, oh, that'll do. Chance! Oh, Chancey boy! He loves riding up front, don't you, bud? We'll get some fence panels with Chancey Chance! Chancey boy! Oh, you're molting, buddy. Look at his face. Honestly, he does. He looks like a teddy bear. Chance! Cat! Oh! I got your attention, didn't it, buddy? Where's the cats? Do you think he's travel sick? I don't know, maybe it's because he's sat up so high. Yeah. He's used to being in boot, aren't you, mate? Oh, bless him. Break it, little cotter sharks. Get the wood you out in there, Woodyard. Hello, Woodyard. Hello, Woodyard. Help, Smuggler. Plywood, decking, 
Anything else you like, chaps? Get a little bit of timber. Now then, Jim, the handover. <laughs> Look at this. Good old number 378 old Test Calcutt over there. Oh, it's a lovely little boat. Lovely boat. You got a stick, buddy? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, stuck in his mouth. I just did it again. <laughs> You're not having much luck, are you? You've had poo stuck in your anus, and now you've got a stick. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in your mouth. Oh, get it then. Get it, Chance. Oh, <laughs> oh buddy. Poo stuck in your anus. And a stick stuck in your mouth. <laughs> Why is it so funny? What's going on with him? Oh, he's looking for another poo. Uh-oh. Oh, spare your blushes, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, then. So just a brief walk through the cemetery for no other reason than to walk the dog. And, uh, well, we strolled past where my grandparents are buried, believe it or not, or at least their ashes. So maybe 15, 20 years ago, I planted these daffodils in front of the uh, headstone. Check it out. Can you even believe it? They're still growing. Marjorie, Millicent Harrison, and Joseph Walter Harrison. There we go, he died in 85 and 87 respectively. I'm glad that the daffs are up though, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I also put some gladioli bulbs and stuff in there at the time, but I think they were a little bit, uh, probably the wrong type of flower for a graveyard, eh? Anyway, that's nice to see them up. That's the one that started the old shebang, isn't it? This was the first one that went, really. And then this. Right, I'm going to need your help to get this last one out because the plum tree. Okay. She made me do all these on my own. Unbelievable. You are so cheeky. Ugh. This could be a you've been framed moment. Timber frames. Ah. Get his camera, get these loaded up. Can you stop it? No. <laughs> Money joking. Yeah. 
Got a little bit of extra work done as well. Folks, I'm walking in the wrong direction if I'm gonna show you. So I unpacked the uh, hose pipe thing that I bought and the gloves. That's just the packaging. I've had the drill out and uh, well, we've installed it. I think it's pretty good. It's one of the hose lock uh, reels that clips onto the wall and you can disconnect it, take it away, hook it up somewhere else. Check this bad boy out. There he is. Oh, lovely. So I've just tested it out. 25 meter hose reaches to every corner of the beer garden behind us, over there. So that means we can water all of our plants during the summer heat and keep everything looking lush and frigging vibrant, folks. That is the plan. Right, Gemma's picked the kids up. I've got the car. I'm gonna rack off early today, folks. We've got our grain weighed out for next week's brew day and we're going to start work on the excavation of that hidden wall next to the scaffolding at the side of the canal. So join us for next week's fantastic vlogs because I'm sure they will be really good. You don't have to take my word for it though. Just tune in and watch. <laughs> <laughs>